Really quick before we start the counterplay, I just want to say really big thank you to Risty who helped us out with this counterplay. If you don't know who Risty is, he is a Twitch streamer, he is a Garen one trick, and he is the highest elo and best Garen in North America. He's a great guy and he definitely helped us out with some of the tips and counterplays on this, so you know this counterplay is of the highest quality. Good job to him and thank you so much, Risty. Hello summoners and welcome to counterplay. This time we'll be taking a look at Garen. The best opportunity to trade with Garen is when his W, Courage, is down. Not only does it reduce damage for a short period, but it also grants Garen a brief window of tenacity. If you see Garen's armor glow with shields circling around him, that is him using his Courage. The ability has a very long cooldown, 24 seconds at rank 1, and leaves Garen at his weakest point to ganks and trades during that time. When Garen hits level 6, he not only gains access to his ultimate, but the villain mechanic itself. The golden sword placed over your head is the indicator that Garen has marked you as the villain. If you kill Garen yourself, you will not be placed as the villain, but you have to be careful because if you get kills on the enemy jungler or from other laners and your team hasn't been getting kills recently, you will become the villain. Be extremely careful as not only will his auto attacks and spin deal extra percentage health true damage, but his entire ultimate will become true damage as well. Garen's passive at level 1 through 10 is the main source of his healing and has an 8 second cooldown. If you have a ranged ability that can disable his passive, it will stop it for a short while and allow you to keep him pressured without being able to heal as quickly back to full health. Play around his passive and continually poke him down that way he's not able to heal up a bunch. Letting Garen push you in early is pretty good in most matchups because he has no ranged harass or dashes to escape. So not only will you not likely lose any tower damage, but he also becomes more vulnerable to ganks. He has no way to harass you under tower unless you're so low that you can get dove. Three champions you can pick to help beat Garen are Kale, Quinn, and Singed. Kale and Quinn are ranged champions, which if you go back to the advice makes a lot of sense because they can constantly poke at him and play around his W in passive cooldowns. And specifically for Kale, she has no way to die to Garen ultimate unless she's in range to get silenced. He can't just walk up to her and kill her on low HP because she'll have her ultimate as well. Singed is not necessarily a direct counter, but statistically speaking, he outperforms him very well in team fights and is able to have a decently high win rate versus him. Garen just does not have the team fight pressure or CC that Singed really has, so if the Singed doesn't completely lose the laning phase, then he'll most likely be okay. This has been the Mobilytics counterplay for Garen. Make sure you check out the product at mobilytics.gg, and once again, big shout out to Risty for helping us. Make sure you check out his stream. He's the best Garen player in the North American region.